So, I want you to think about the worst joke you ever heard. Mine was from, I think Britain Got Talent. There was a lady who asked people if they were alright, and then she proceeded to tell them they were not alright, they were all left. <laughs> I think the, the fact that everybody just, just stood there quietly was... Um, I, I think this lady should never perform again, she should be banned from comedy, but yeah, think about the worst joke you ever heard and put that in the comments, I would like to, to, to not laugh to them, and also drop a like, subscribe, and let's dive into the video. There is a secret bath in God of War Ragnarok, and to be able to trigger it, it is kind of tricky, but if you remember our previous video about the strength, the max strength build, we're going to do some little tweaks here and there to be able to trigger the Nine Realms buff, which is, um, it is questionable. So, when it comes to our armor set, we're still going to use Vider's set, except when it comes to the race armor, we actually changed to the Bracers of Undying Pyres. And the reason why is because we want to build our Immolation Permafrost of Maelstrom faster, and this allows us to get 15% more gain rate, which is which is going to matter later. But yeah, so basically just use the Chest Hammer of Vider, the Waste Hammer still still Vider, but the Bracers are going to be from the Undying Pyres. And when it comes to the Amulet, yeah, this is where um, you need to do something. So, in order to trigger the Nine Realms buff, you need to go and equip one enchantment from every realm. You have nine realms, so yeah, nine enchantments, and they all have to be different from each other. And if you don't have every slot unlocked yet, you need to go out in the wilds and, you know, unlock those slots, because you have nine slots for nine enchantments, and they all, again, they all have to be different. But because we're going for, I'll say, a strength-oriented build, we're going to try our best to put every single enchantment which increases our strength, while also paying attention to making them different. So as you can see, Asgard, Mid Midgard, Vanenheim, Svartenheim, Musselheim, every single realm is, is, is actually there. When it comes to our grapes, and especially for the, to the axe, we still, uh, I personally prefer using the Freer Smile because of that 63 in strength and I, I think you can also use the grip of the nine realms to uh, trigger a realm shift every single time you activate permafrost personally i don't like it because i prefer dealing more damage than just creating a realm shift upon activating my permafrost but it's up to you either either one of those two will work so just decide just settle on what works for you and go with it and as always, the running attacks do not matter, just use whatever works for you. And when it comes to the blaze, we use the promos of burning unity because it is going to increase uh, our burn damage and increase how much immolation we get whenever an enemy is burning. And it's going to become relevant later because this build is, I mean, the nine realms buff is centered on being able to trigger emulation of Maestrom and whatever and the speed doesn't matter it's just about again I just use this pommel the heat of the four wings just for the strength and that's it but as long as you have all the enchantments it doesn't matter what else you do it's uh, again even when it comes to the shields nothing I, I think the guardian shield should increase your strength because every single shield increases some stat but not the guardian shield and when it comes to the the round we're going to use this one because it also increases our strength and that's it again it is it is i'll say in a better version of the max strength build and <laughs> that's it wrath is really good too because whenever you use your wrath rage is going to give you a lot of emulation of permafrost and also the talisman of may because i love doing a lot of damage really fast and yeah when it comes to the skills every single time you perform an a forward plus R1 attack, you can, depending on the token and all the mods you put on that particular skill, you can build the emulation status effect or permafrost quite fast, and that's exactly what you want to do. You want to use that move, I mean those two moves, whenever you want to build that emulation pretty fast. That's exactly what I do, and you should be fine. When it comes to Freya, I always use the poison running summon and Sigil arrows because I want to deal more damage whenever an enemy is hexed, and that's it. Again, as long as you have your enchantments right, you're good to go for 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 triggering the the buff. And now let's actually see what the buff is about. 
Now, what exactly is the 9 rounds buff? Well, while fighting enemies, you will see. It doesn't matter what weapon you use, even your bare handed attacks will actually trigger the 9 rounds buff. But whenever you're actually dealing damage to enemies, you will see on your, on your screen that there is a 9 rounds thingy appearing. And you cannot use it, you cannot benefit from it until you actually activate Emulation, Permafrost, or Maestrom. And you can see it on your screen. It is that gauge next to your where you actually show your weapon, and you want to just pay attention to that gauge and activate permafrost whenever it's full. Only and only when you see the nine rounds buff, because if you don't, then you cannot benefit from that. That's the thing. You cannot benefit from the nine rounds buff if you don't trigger permafrost, ebullition, or maelstrom. But provided you actually successfully trigger permafrost or emulation you're going to notice uh, uh, an increase in the damage you deal and also an increase in your rage gain which is I gotta say so I was expecting something disgusting that is not that not berserker said disgusting but something up there but the nine rams buff uh, firstly first of all to trigger that, it is, it is, uh, it just, it's all luck. And I did try to increase my chances of triggering that buff by going full leg build. It didn't, it did nothing. It didn't impact how, how fast I would get the, or how often I would get the buff. No, it did nothing. So the, the, <laughs> the infamous leg build is useless if you want to trigger the nine rams buff faster. And that's one thing I don't like about it. Secondly. You need emulation to benefit from the buff. So if you don't have emulation, then it's pretty much useless. It's gone. But then when you do use it, when you do trigger emulation while the nine rounds buff is active, then it's only an increase in damage, and that's it. I gotta say that's kind of lame. It is. I mean, it's a good surprise. Uh, it's a nice touch, but it is a it is a lame touch. So let me ask you a question. What would you rather use? The poison build, the luck build, the rage build, the instant cooldown build, the, the infamous berserker build which is overpowered like in a league of its own, or would you rather sacrifice all those uh, enchantment sets bonuses just to get a 15 to 10% increase in the amount of damage you deal whenever you activate permafrost? That is my issue. You sacrifice so many things just to get that little thing that I think it is, that I, that I truly think it is lame. It is a nice touch. I, li I like that it's some kind of Easter egg, but I have to say, I am disappointed. I'm truly disappointed because when you look at all those other builds and how they just work, and some of, some of them are really fun. I think the leg build is not the best one when it comes to damage, but it is a very fun one. But I would never use the secret buff, the nine rounds buff. Because there is no, no, why would I? It is a better version. Again, it is a better version of the max strength deal because you do get, you actually might benefit from having the 10 percent increase in, in in damage. But that's it. Other than that, I would never ever consider using that build, and that's the problem. I mean that uh, that secret buff, and that's the problem. And I do hope that with doing it plus, there is a way to make it better. Because out of every single armor pieces and whatever. There's not a single gear which increases the damage you deal whenever you are, um, whenever permafrost is active. Not a single one. Not a single item increasing the duration of permafrost. Nothing. So <laughs> maybe those things can actually help. Um, you know, just getting something more out of the nine rams buff. But I would like to know what you think about it. Personally, I think it's lame. I would never use it. <laughs> I just, I'm just using it for this video. I did go against Gna, as you can see, and it was okay. Nothing crazy happening. Like, yeah, I was just trying to see how often I would, I would make it happen, and then it was all, always about having enough emulation, and I, I just, I just don't like it. But it is there. It is a nice touch. It is there, but. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> so that's it for the video. You let me know. What, what. Actually, I would like to know. Other than the bad joke, I mean, the worst joke you ever heard of, I would like to know what is your favorite build? What is the build you actually will be using the, more, the most in New Game Plus? Personally, I would never use this build again unless I can make it better. 
and as of right now, I cannot think of a way to make it better. So, until then, I'll see you around, and again, Happy New Year, bye-bye, drop a like, subscribe, and tell me about joke. <laughs> bye-bye.